Yo, it's Zoso. I've been seeing a lot of people ask me my settings or my settings like certain dead zones and why, like what sensor to use and uh, my class setup. So in this video, I'm basically got not, there's not no clips. I'm just ex going to in-depth explanation of all my settings and what I use them and different settings you should use for different play styles and different game modes. Also, my class setups. So first, we're gonna go to controller, which is the most important. I play Bumper Jumper Tactical. As you can see, I play Bumper Jumper Tactical, no flip, just Bumper Jumper. I mean, if you, if you don't want to play Claw, it's a better alternative. I feel like this is just better all around. Like, it's less stress on your hands. You don't have to do as much, so I think it's just better. And then next, of course, no, I play 16-16. And if you see some of my most recent videos, you can see I play 6-6. Six, six. <clears throat> I play 6-6 six, six because I feel like 6-6 six, six is better for ranked. Competitive, I mean, to maximize your angle. If you're a Warzone player, 16-16 is perfect. You can master your sensitivity. You can probably fluctuate it to around 10. But I feel like 10 to 13 or 10 to 12 is a good place to have it. I just do 16, a little higher. You know, it's just preference. 0.50 ADS. Um, no sensitivity multipliers. This is all regular. All normal. Aim down sight behavior. Normal hold. Normal. Automatic sprint, automatic tactical sprint, of course. I mean, I mean, I feel like it's just the best best option, bro. Some people use off because they want to walk sometimes, but I feel like being a Warzone player, I just always have this on automatic tactical sprint. This is normal. Prior towards interact, a lot of people ask me this. A lot of people ask me this. How, how to pick up guns faster prioritize interact bro if you're going if you're dropping down you want to get that gun first you need this on this is the best setting you need this on I apply all plates I like to apply all plates you could cancel if you click Y again but I don't like having to press my plates and keep pressing them over and over again like you can click Y to cancel if you don't put any plates in so I just feel like that's better for me next aim assist don't use this black ops is nerfed do not use this there's something called rotational aim assist, and you can only get this with default. It's if you hold your, if you strafe left to right, or if you hold your left stick back, it kind of pulls your aim or pulls your um, scope, I guess, to the person. Which that's rotational aim assist. This doesn't happen. Black Ops got nerfed. It used to be the best one. It got nerfed, so everybody used default. It's the best. I use dynamic. I feel like it maximizes my aim. Instant, same. I use dead zone. My dead zones are zero, zero. I, I play on a new controller. This should be zero as well. I play on all zero. I have a new controller, so I just, you know, it just feels better for me. I mean, but once your controller gets weird enough, you're noticing stick drift, you can hire it, you can hire it as much as you can. I use zero because I have a new controller right now and I don't have any stick drift. This, you don't need this. Turn this on, if I think this should be automatically on, but make sure. Normal, normal. Automatic off, I don't need this. If you have automatic tactical sprint, you don't need this. Invert, I like to do inverted so I can dolphin dive more. I feel like dolphin dive is one of the only movement, not one of the only movement techs, but a very important movement tech to get out of certain gunfights. You don't you do not do this though. When you're, if you're trying to chow somebody, don't chow them with a dolphin dive. I mean, they're gonna just beam you if they get out the game. It can work sometimes, but there's a delay to where you can't shoot, so you just really don't use this. Plunge freely, my my guy Naps put me on this, bro. You can look him up. He's just making movement guy, bro. It's a crazy tech you can learn using this plunge freely. Go look at his video. His name is Naps. Parachute auto deploy. Sometimes I just want to fly straight down, and then if you if you have this on and it deploys your parachute, you could just let go. That that basically shows you. The height at which you can drop without breaking your leg. So I turn this on. This is automatically on. Next to only so you don't hold on. I just have this on. All this is normal. The rest should be normal. You really don't need nothing. Next is my graphics. A lot of people ask my graphics settings and how do I run it. I run, I have, I play 1920. I mean, my PC is auto, my monitor is auto, auto set at this. But I run 1920 for more frames. My screen refresh rate is 144. That's where the max mod can go to. You want to always set this to that because if not, you'll start realizing screen tear. And I have mine a little. I have mine at 165 because I don't notice as much screen tear in this game as in Rebirth. But I put this on. For this, everything is basically low. I don't, or, yeah, that's this. <clears throat> but for this, I have a basic quality preset. I mean, I didn't feel like I didn't feel like 
up optimizing it. I just I probably can do better and make my game run faster by optimizing a little more. But I just left it at basic. I, I mean, I could do balance, but I just want maximum frames. I could have went minimum, but I just want maximum frames, so I just went normal. As you can see, this is yeah. Just click basic. I, I didn't do nothing special. FOV. Now this is a big part. A lot of people don't know this. Like I played console a long time ago. I was on eighty FOV. It was terrible. Please don't. Make it 120. If you're a Warzone player, you want to do 120. If you like ranked, if you like competitive play, 8, go between 100 to 110. If you're a controller player, because this maximizes your aim assist. If you use 120, anything above 120, the higher you go after 110, the higher you go after 110, the more your aim assist messes up. Like the more, the less aim assist, I could say, the less aim assist you get, the higher you go after 110. So do 100 for max max aim assist, but if you got to get used to it, like do 100 to 110 for max. I use 120 because I'm more zone. Affected ADS. A lot of people don't use this, but use Y, as you can tell. It makes your gun smaller so you can kind of see more. No normal. All this is least when you slide, if you slide, it kind of shakes a little bit if you slide. So you want to put this on least, which is 50. Audio settings. I really have normal audio settings. I mean, I like... I'm, I use Discord, so I like to hear people I'm talking to, and the game is just super loud, so I just make sure I turn this down real low. So you don't have to copy this. I mean, these are not the best audio settings, I'm pretty sure, but that's what I leave it at. The rest is all normal. Nothing special here. Here, nothing really special. I mean, center dot, this is this is important. Center dot, you want to put your center dot on. This is insanely good. Um, it helps you. It just It's just good. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't know. It just, it basically makes it easier for you to put, mm. okay, so you can see the dot right here. It makes it easier to line up or center your screen because that's a huge part of centering, making sure it's in the middle of your screen or aiming to where the guy is. So this helps with that instead of the crosshair. Rest is normal and account networking, yeah, I don't even go to that. I have color settings I can show. Let me see the last thing is my color customization. I use filter two both 100 100 I mean in my video I explained I already did my my filters videos and my filters I use so next is my class setups I've been experimenting so some of them might not be definite but these are the ones I've been running I use this for SMG I mean I use this for AR but I honestly I honestly like this way more it's gonna be way better in my opinion this is honestly one of the best, if not the best in the gu gun in the game right now, in my opinion. This gun is absolutely insane, bro. It has barely any recoil, as you can see. Crazy. It's just a crazy gun in general, bro. I highly recommend. I highly recommend. I highly recommend. I recommend this gun. It's insane. I use it with the MP5. I like this MP5 view. This is my favorite MP5 build. It's a good build. So, next, I have the ISO Hemlock. The ISO. My main, my main, MP, my main, sorry, my main SMG I use for comp. I use this for Warzone, everything. Bass Nuts is my favorite. I feel like it's the all around best SMG in the game, in my opinion. Timmy's Razorback. As you know, I can kind of go for clips. I don't really play long range. But the first, the first class, probably my class, like if I'm going for a PR or whatever, I'll use that, that first class. I'll probably switch the MP5 out for the Vaznev, but this is the class I usually use for that. Next, this is like my movement class, kind of, for quick movement speed. The Phoenix still shreds, even though it's, you know, it's not meta anymore as it used to be. If you see this up close, bro, you're going to get shredded with it, bro. The P90, this gun is just all around the same. I mean, this is just a crazy gun. I like this gun. This gun been nice. It's been a good gun. So, yeah. This is a good gun. I like this. It's pretty decent. Next is the MP5 again. As I showed, same one. MX9. This gun is actually super underrated, bro. It actually is the max damage SMG right now. If you're for SMG, it's the max damage one. So this is crazy. It's probably one of my favorite. I like to run this together from going for clips. Sniper. I like this one. This is my sniper. I actually have a new sniper I'm, I'm trying out. I'll probably do it in my next class setup video. But I like this sniper for quick scoping. It's a good quick scoping sniper. 
running with the MX9, the build I showed you before. My Chimera. This gun is insane. This probably is my favorite close range AR. This is the best close range AR in my opinion. It's the, the headshot multiplier is insane. It has crazy, crazy fire rate. The damage is insane, bro. This is a crazy gun. P90. This is the different P90 build. I'll show you here. Next, you have the Hurricane. I know it looks crazy, but this gun actually sure has, bro. This gun is insane. Like I said, fast movement speed, fast ADS. Another one of my favorite guns. Fast P. I don't use it as much as I used to, but this gun is still decent. It's pretty cool. I like it. Good movement speed. Next, the Casco. Fuck for five. This gun is super underrated as well. This gun is insane. Use this build, please. Try this build. If you try this build out, if you make it this far into the video, try this build out. This build out, bro. And tell me how you like it in the comments, bro. It's probably my favorite gun right now. Or one of my favorite guns. This gun is insane. And then last, we have the movement. The movement Vaznet for max movement speed. I personally don't like it super, like a lot. Unless I'm going for like trying to run around people or whatever. Because the recoil control is just so bad. Like... It's one of those recoil, recoil patterns you really can't control because it just goes left and right, left and right, and you can't really like control it. But it's still pretty decent from close range. It's good. It's good from close range, but if you get to, a little too far, probably after the 20 meter mark, it's gonna get tough to use. Cast this. This might be like I said, the Chimera is probably one of them. This is in close competition with the Chimera because this headshot multiplier is insane. Like I can show you. This gun is a two shot to the head, bro. It's a two shot to the head. It's insane. It's crazy. So I just love that gun. So those are my clap. Let me show my perks. This is the perk package I use, by the way. If you want to know that. But yeah, that's basically my settings, my class setups, everything you have. How to do clips in this video. Let me know what type of videos you want me to make next. TTV video, like I posted before. You want to make clip videos. Just exp explanation videos, explaining how I play next. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Road to 1K. I'm out.